All right, let's talk about fat and testosterone. So three main dietary factors influence resting testosterone levels. That's monounsaturated fats, MUFAs, polyunsaturated fat to saturated fat ratio, PUFA to SFA, and the protein to carbohydrate ratio. Since we've already discussed uh, the protein to carbohydrate ratio in a previous video in the series, let's take a look at the fats, namely the impact of MUFAs, PUFAs, and saturated fat. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. Research focused on the overall percentage of fat intake in the macronutrient profiles found lower fat diets to correlate with a decrease in testosterone levels. For example, in groups of test subjects, those on a 20% fat diet actually had significantly lower T levels than those on a 40% over the course of the study. Studies in vegetarians who are known to consume less saturated fat and have a higher polyunsaturated fat to saturated fat ratio also find similar low T results. While the importance of overall dietary fat intake has been widely studied in terms of testosterone production, the breakdown of individual types of fats has become potentially more important in this emerging subfield and one that can shed additional light on the specific breakdowns of the types of fats that are necessary in the diets and the ones that aren't. One major study analyzing specific lipid profiles and their impact on testosterone in men before, during, and after resistance training found that the amount of MUFA intake and the amount of PUFA to saturated fat ratio was a reliable indicator of resting T concentration along with overall dietary fat intake levels. Several other studies have reinforced this finding. The researchers found a significant negative correlation between the polyunsaturated fat ratio and T levels where the higher amount of PUFA in the diet relative to saturated fats had a negative impact on testosterone levels. Now, PUFAs include sources from both omega-3 and omega-6s, and they include a lot, like you can get a lot of them, basically they come from processed oils like so soybean oil, corn, safflower oil, um, nuts, canola oil, flax seeds, and so forth. The best sources of saturated fat are fresh animal products such as grass-fed meats, butters, and cheeses, which happen to be rich in dietary cholesterol as well as monounsaturated fats, which are both favorable for tea production. Researchers found that monounsaturated fat intake was positively correlated with testosterone levels as well. Fruits like avocados and olives are awesome sources of monounsaturated fats that are going to support testosterone production. We can see from the research on fats, carbohydrates, and protein, the macro profile of your diet plays a super important role in mediating your testosterone production. Aside from training, diet manipulation is one of the simplest, fast-acting manipulations you can take to increase your T levels naturally. And most people seeing that the overall trend in research places a heavy emphasis on consuming more fat and carbs and putting less focus on protein consumption in order to support optimal endocrine balance, they might be somewhat confused or dismayed at this information. Now, according to popular paradigm, fat and carb intake together would equal body fat accumulation. However, this is simply just not true. It also highly depends on the type of fats consumed and the type of carbs consumed and obviously caloric surplus. So PUFAs, for example, you know, in a donut or a piece of birthday cake will obviously encourage fat gain if consumed regularly in high calories. It's because it's a shitty food. It has no nutrients and it's high in calories and it stimulates appetitive behaviors like overeating. Carbs in saturated monounsaturated fats consumed via real whole food sources, rich in micronutrients and vitamins and minerals, will nourish the body's endocrine system, especially when consumed together. For example, not neglecting a whole macronutrient group in pursuit of another. Now, on the surface, however, this type of diet might appear as though it does not necessarily encourage getting ripped, which is a state most men would like to achieve. This assumption is partly correct, especially considering the fact that reaching abnormally low body fat levels typically requires you to be in a very considerable calorie restriction, which decreases T levels. And T levels are known to drop off in men below a certain uh, level of body fat, especially you find that in a lot of bodybuilders who are super ripped. Some years ago, dietary fat was considered to be the utmost evil thing that you could ever put near your body. But luckily things have gotten slow better and new research is constantly providing uh, more important information about how dietary fat uh, is important. So the good thing, especially for men, is dietary fat intake is one of the most crucial factors to take under consideration when optimizing your tea production. So let's dive into the research around fats and testosterone. There are two crucial factors to look for when focusing on dietary fat intake for optimizing tea. Now first, the actual amount is really important. There's definitely an upper limit where things go in an opposite direction. Also, the ratio is super important of different types of fatty acids. They play a crucial role, like I mentioned earlier. 
Now, I'm assuming that most of you already know the difference between these fats, but for the sake of simplicity, these three fats, again, are the ones that you need to pay attention to. So PUFAs are polyunsaturated fats. These are omega fatty acids, and they come from mostly vegetable oils and, and things like nuts. Now, again, there's monounsaturated fatty acids, or MUFAs. Uh, olives and avocados are great sources of them. And then there's saturated fats. Uh, you can get it from red meat, butter, coconut oil, palm oil, dark chocolate, egg yolks, cheese, etc. So the data from a lot of research has actually seen that vegan and vegetarians eat lower amount of dietary fat in general, and their PUFA to saturated fat ratio is higher than what's seen in most omnivores. And that's likely the main reason why vegans and vegetarians have noticeably lower testosterone levels than meat eaters do, and this is reported in a ton of studies. Several studies have shown that when diets are lower in fat intake, total fat intake, compared to diets with a higher total fat intake, the higher fat intake group uh, if it's coming from saturated fats, have more testosterone and less SHBG in their blood serum. In this study, two elite ice hockey teams were put on different diets for a period of seven months, so it was a long time. One team received a diet containing 40% fat and 45% carbs, whereas the other team ate a diet with 30% fat and 55% carbs, where they moderated and controlled the protein intake. They were identical. Both during and after the study, the researchers saw that the higher fat intake group actually had higher free T levels, along with lower SHBG levels. Now at this point, it becomes quite obvious that you need to eat plenty of fat from the right sources to increase your testosterone levels, and that the main types of fat that you need to focus on are the saturated fats and the monounsaturated fats, whereas the consumption of PUFAs, polyunsaturated fats, should be kept as low as possible. Eating 35% of your daily calories from saturated fats and monounsaturated fats is potentially a good idea for testosterone production. I wouldn't eat any more than that though because you have to leave room for carbohydrates. It's kind of this song and dance of figuring out what the right macro profile is for supporting your body. A lot of people think like, what the heck? I've heard that saturated fat causes heart disease. I wouldn't fret over this type of nonsense. Now, recent research has shown multiple times that the correlation between dietary fat intake and cardiovascular disease is pretty much non-existent. Saturated fat and testosterone production go hand in hand. It's well known that eating a diet high in healthy fats increases testosterone levels. In fact, it's one of the easiest ways to do so. Research has also shown that the higher intake of saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, leads to higher testosterone levels, where a higher intake of polyunsaturated fats leads to lower testosterone levels. If you liked this video and you found it informative, you can actually find everything you would ever need to know in my book, Master Your Tea. I normally sell it on Amazon for 20 bucks, but you can get it for free over at MasterYourTea.com. I don't just cover nutrition, I cover training, I cover supplements, I cover micronutrients, and I cover a lot of lifestyle things that you might be interested in, like sex. So go over to MasterYourTea.com, you can get the book for free, and you'll also get a coupon for $5 off Testro X. I hope you liked this video, I hope it was informative. Ask me questions in the comments, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video.